Link, wake up, wake up, Link. <laughs> That's his style. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I speak old timey. I am what that which humans call Arceus. I am thou which humans call Arceus. <laughs> I'm fine. Now I wish to know your line appearance. I cannot see you with my eyes, so you must show me with your face. Choose a face. They're very similar faces. <laughs> Which one shall we be? Should we just be like super white? Let's let's do it. Let's just be like a like a, like a vampire white. What is thy name? My name is Evils. <laughs> okay, am I? I was just going to put in strife, but... I made a joke and I thought it was funny. Strivels. Strivels. That is a dumb name. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. Why does he talk like that? He doesn't have to talk like that. He's a fucking Pokemon. <laughs> a world inhabited by wondrous creatures. Humans call Pokemon. Griffles. Seek out all Pokemon. And thou shalt find me once more. God. Hello everybody, and welcome to Pokemon Arceus. We're playing it. We're playing a brand new Pokemon game. We're floating in space in a t-shirt with a mobile phone. Why is there a mobile phone? Oh, oh. Mobile phone. No. Arceus, don't look at my tweets! <laughs> no, I'm being sentenced to hell! Oh, actually. I'm a mobile phone. It's a Pikachu. <laughs> what is happening? Are we going back in time? Are we not really like old timey Pokemon people? We, we're being warped back in time? Is that dumb and unnecessary? I feel like it. Us. Wake up! Oh. Do wake up, won't you? Uh, I was having a lovely dream about mobile phone technology. You alive, my boy? I am God. <laughs> Like the start of a Harvest Moon game. Wow, look at that in the background. That is... A bit rough, actually. That's okay. You gave you gave me quite a shock. Hmm, falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? I, I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky. You understand? Come now. Who in the world does that? To say your clothing is unusual, you wouldn't happen to be an acquaintance in these parts, would you? Down it. <laughs> I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. My clothes aren't that different from yours. You're just wearing a straight up lab coat. Except for that stupid hat. Did I have that hat? 
Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you can stay? I don't know. No, you don't know anyone here. And you don't even know where to spend the night. That's daytime. I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm very sad. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Coo! Boom. Fish splash. Oh my god, look, they're so cute. Oh my, I completely for I've completely forgotten. I had just caught up with these free runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Yeah, but, e but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. Not what a Pokemon is. You have some sort I completed the Pokemon Red and the Silver. <laughs> my, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground eh? Yes, well, these Pokemon belong to me. Serious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? It's Striffles. Oh, so you're called Striffles. Hmm, that name has quite a ring to it. I imagine, I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. It doesn't. Oh, uh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Leventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. Are you right? Are you really? That is to say, I am a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these free here. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why would you run away from me again? I'm terribly sorry. Do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait there, you free wait! Wow, here we are. We're in we're in Pokemon Land. It looks rather artsy, doesn't it? It looks kind of like um, uh, I want to say Amaterasu, but that's the name of the dog and not the name of the game. Okami. It looks like Okami. Um, kind of, doesn't it? I don't mind it. It's um, it's it's interesting. This game is like, is it really piqued my interest because it was different, right? I think that's why a lot of people were kind of like, ooh. Like, do you remember when Pokemon Snap came out? Do you remember that on the N sixty four, not the Switch, <laughs> on the N sixty four? Like, oh shit, it's my mobile. There's a glowing beeping object over there. Um, hold on, let me finish my thought real quick before we talk to the fucking Arceus phone. Um, like, and Pokemon Snap was such a, like, a whirlwind of, like, fucking emotion and intrigue, and it was just so different, and it was seeing the Pokemon world from a different perspective. It was like, wow, look at this, it's so fucking good. It was, like, such a, such a huge, I don't want to say innovation, because you were just taking pictures of Pokemon. But it was so interesting and a different way to look at Pokemon, right? From the Game Boy screen. It was it was different and fantastic and it really brought you into that world a bit more. Because like you had Pokemon you had Pokemon Stadium and you had Pokemon and like the, the cartoon, right? That you watched and then the Pokemon cards. As a kid I was so into Pokemon and still am. But it's it was that Pokemon Snap that I was like, wow this is completely different and it was like just magic. It was like it was magic. And then they did Pokemon Snap on the Switch, which is very good. And I really, really enjoy Pokemon Snap on the Switch. But it does lack that magic of of being so completely different and a different way of looking at Pokemon. That doesn't mean the Snap on the Switch is worth less, because it's someone who hasn't played that before. Perhaps that is magic right but that's what I was hoping for this I was hoping that, that magic would strike again and I don't know if it's gonna but we're gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna try 
You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You saw a strange power emitting from it. It's an Arceus deck. Thank fuck. It wasn't a Rotom. <laughs> anything. Anything. Not be a Rotom. Message me on the scheme. I bestow upon thee this Arc Phone, and thy mission seek out all Pokemon. Have we really got to capture every Pokemon? Is that just the fucking game? That's going to take a long time. I'm running a bit funny. Like, I'm running at a lower FPS, I feel. <laughs> it feels weird. It must be the flip flops. Hard to run in. Oh, alas, another mess. Ah, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing their way, but I'm at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love for you to give it a go, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these first. Now, that one is Rowlet. I fucking love Rowlet. Holy shit, Rowlet is so fucking cute, and Sigili is dope as hell. That's a Rowlet. Rowlet can uh, photosynthesize like a plant uh, that apparently it battles using sharp, sharp feathers. Isn't it cool? Ooh, oh, it's so fucking cute. Oh, oh, it's Cyndaquil. I love Cyndaquil. <laughs> that one over there is Cyndaquil. It's fine. It's fire burning Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's supposed uh, surprised or irate. Boom. That one over the pond near the pond is Oshawott. It's not nearly as interesting as the other two, but it's still pretty fucking cute. It evolves into a samurai thing, which is also pretty dope. Oshawott naps while floating on the water. It can battle using its shell-like object on its belly. Like a sword. Fish splash. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here's a Pokeball. Here you go, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. Obtained 50 Pokeballs. That's a lot of fucking Pokeballs. <laughs> Mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon to catch them. Ah, but, uh... That won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Just let me do it, dude. Just let me give it a shot. You give me 50, right? I can afford to fuck a few. Now I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange and uh, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Uh, well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself to a molecule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at the Pokemon, and uh, why well, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you're you're the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. That was what? <laughs> I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my free runaways. Now, the proper technique to take aim at the Pokemon and let them all fly is quite simple. Though, far be it from me to say so. First, uh, given my own dire lack of skill. Okay, throw Pokeballs. Hold down ZR. ZR. Button to ready a Pokeball. Take aim and keep moving around as you do. Use the right stick. Adjust your angle and then carefully throw your ball. At least they are to throw the ball. If it hits the Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've readied a Pokemon, a Pokeball, but you don't want to throw it, press B to cancel. Okay. Wow, look, okay, look. I love Rowlet. Rowlet is fucking great. And Oshawott's pretty cool too. But Cyndaquil. Alright, listen. Cyndaquil. <laughs> let's let's do it. Huh. I got your ass.
Oh, wonderful. You've caught a Pokemon. You have quite an act for this Pokemon catching business, Triffles. A jolly, jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left. Still, this is not the most useful. Even fearful of Pokemon. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon, in slightest. So why would I be fearful? Pokemon are lovely creatures. They, ne they would never attack me. That would be ridiculous. Huh! Thank God. Because there's like actually like a little hole in the top of the Pokeball for like a firework to shoot out. I can hardly believe it, Shuffles. Incredible. Uh, do you know how many Pokemon fear to even approach Pokemon? Never mind, catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharper, shall we? Yeah, Alright, well, why don't you throw a fucking ball? Can't. You're not very good at it. Oh, poor little professor. <laughs> oh, wait. Just. Oh, it's gross. Wow, that water is awful, isn't it? It's, it's terrible water. Ah, oh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Uh, Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Uh, give it another go, old boy. Wait. Try and stylize it as much as you like. That shit looks gross. <laughs> that water is awful. We did it. You got all three. These Pokemon are my Pokemon now. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them back. You see, these, the three Pokemon you caught, have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village, almost as if they knew you'd come for me. I must say, Stifles, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeball. How is it you catch Pokemon so ably when you're only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here. And now... Here and now. Yeah, I got this. I got a mobile phone. Seek out all Pokemon. Interesting. An object. An arc phone, you say? Hey, what an odd device. Could be guiding you somehow. Like some sort of GPS. You'd indulge me for a moment. There's something I'd like to share with you. See, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. While in the field, call such a catalogue a Pokedex. I wouldn't call it a Pokedex because Professor Oak invented the Pokedex, not me. But here I am, uh, years before he's even been born, and here I am talking about a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of... Why not just call it, like, Pokey Notes or something? Like, I want to compile a, a, a Pokey Notes or something. You know, just something just to off-center it. Make it seem a little bit more mystical. Maybe not Pokey Notes, but, you know, something different. Or, like... I, yes, a proper Pokemon index or something, like extend it, like you haven't shortened it to Pokedex yet. It's wonderful work of research, containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. But in order for the properly po document Pokemon, one must of course catch them. Ah, and there lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with clear talent for catching Pokemon. It is like you have played 17 different Pokemon games prior to this one. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. Ugh. Situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? You've convinced me. And whoever, and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. Uh, we're, we have a Pokedex to complete. I hate this. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we shall sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes. Deal with that. 
Follow me then onward to Jubilife City Village. Jubilife Village. Jubilife Village. That's um. That is the name of a town, isn't it? That the big one, Jubilife City. In in the uh, Pokemon's Diamond and Pearl. The one you come up to with the clowns in it. Is that? The one, wow, look at it. Nice. Thank you for your tireless, tireless work and keeping us safe, my good guardsman. Young man, of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive forgive my bringing him into the village room. Wow, look at it! Oh, it's so it's so good, isn't it? Look at how good it is. This way, if you please. Jubilee Village has come a long way, thanks to the fine people of Galaxy Emporium or something. The road is now known as the locals. Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet and not much to do it. Oh, Jesus Christ, slow down. And since we know little of local Pokemon, people hesitate to set out for the village. Now, important building up ahead of us is the Galaxy Hall headquarters. My entire outfit. You look, see its chimney looks like a coffin. Like the, uh, the, uh, the British. Often pop out. Oh, Bovleton, I've forgot. I was forgotten. I need to go report what we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. These guys are all from Team Galaxy. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? Just pass this building here, then go to the left. The Wolf or Flower is called. Sure. Oh. Dark friends beeping. Hello. Somehow it seems to show. Or somehow it seems to show. We we need to go next. It has a, a map of some description. <laughs> Use the button. Oh, I see. Minus button. I'm, I'm being dumb. I'm being dumb. Look at this map. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, Jesus, big. Look. There's that big mountain. Right in the middle. It is Jubilife City. Look, it is right in the right spot. Right in the right place. How cool. <laughs> Hello? Well now. Aren't you an awfully suspicious? Mm, you might be in Among Us. The world flowers for Team Galaxy for Galaxy Team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. The f oh. That's so rude. Maybe you. I've never seen anyone dressed like you. What? You were attacked by a Pokemon. Oh. What if you were attacked by what if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be miss me in those flimsy clothes. The guard let you through. Yeah, you must have ties with someone in the somebody in the village. Perhaps she meet perhaps she met Professor Livington. Uh, he's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though it makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I hardly want to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Fur. I, I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thunder Shock not too long ago. Uh, I had to take. I had to take. Not long ago, and had to take to my bed. That was a horrible sentence. I didn't like that one at all. But the professor, well. Uh, I do wonder how long he'll last. 
Unfortunately, it's just as uh, Akari s says. I am a clumsy, short sort of a fellow. Put it mildly. Bethesda! But everything will be quite alright now. Shiffles as here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Uh, excuse me? You plan to appoint him survey, to the Survey Corps? Try to slap a badge on whoever, you, whoever you'd like without Captain Serline's permission. I'll allow it. Oh, is it Captain Caroline! Assuming this individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Caroline. Oh, I mean all sorts of people, huh? Professor Livingston has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped. When they slipped his control. And now it seems you would like to help us to feed and... Now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labour. Hmm. You look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work, to earn your keep. But you can't simply take on a, on a stranger who wanders in among us <laughs> without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, ho, ho. Most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join me for us for a meal? Uh, I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. But alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals with without distraction. Oh. As always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Any old chum? The usual potato mochi, if you please. Make it for free today. Wonderful stuff, Betty. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. Oh, yes, thank you. Professor Livington, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, oh, well, uh, you know the great hall in the sky? Uh, the one people call Space Time Rift? Uh, the one people... Oh, sorry, our new friend fell out of it. <laughs> you can't be serious. Oh, yes, I'm quite serious indeed. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain. And any and all phenomenon. I could I concern myself only with the facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the he Hishu, Hishu region. Yeah, that there are in the grass and forests, by water, wherever they like. Our job as survey corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. <laughs> Are they? But it's all but that's all but impossible. No, what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Striffles will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them quick order, you understand? Nobody in Galaxy Team is capable of a feat such as that. This means that he can f I can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We've, we have a hard enough time catching even one. When, when wild Pokemon come after us? Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. Uh, but uh, the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim a Pokemon, as it seems. Enough to aim a Pokemon well enough, as it seems. I hate that sometimes it like juts down a line and sometimes it skips to a, a new double line. That's 
Like, I have a hard enough time reading as it is. <laughs> like, I don't need that shit. A new friend is a fearless enough to do just that. Does the survey corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? The captain ordered ten whole portions of the potato much, you know. Slow progress on the Pokedex of your yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Shiffles. And think, if you make it into Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides all members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Okay. Yes, yes, I nod. That was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, do you remember that Striffles had a trial to pass? Enjoy the survey corps, don't you? Oh, not to worry, I have complete confidence in Striffles' skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Striffles, was it? For tonight, at least, I will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Lovely. But if you fail to pass the trial, we'll put you out tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate, perhaps your death in the wilds. Fucking hell. <laughs> this is harsh. Alright. Captain Caroline's somewhat like Hinsu in that we're both quite harsh. Oh no. He simply puts on a stern on a stern in front of to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? Good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. <laughs> I imagine our new friend has enough fooling for one day. And with that, I bid you both good night. Bye bye. Yeah, night. No one's worried about that. Rift in the sky. Or falling from it? Or is full of mysteries? That seems quite dangerous. Quite an issue up there. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? What the fuck? Where is it? Is it behind here? Oh, there it is. Oh, Jesus. Quite far away, huh? Let's go have a nap. Oh, look at this place! Green garlic and tomatoes? Hell yeah. It might not be tomatoes, actually, on closer inspection. It might be tomato berries. Do have any tips? I don't care about tips. Also, always save function. Alright, so we press this. Save your progress. I save. Your progress has been saved. Fantastic. Investigate. The dresser, very solid construction, where assets of clothing can be. Oh, look how nice this fucking place is. You can store lots and lots of items on it. Great. Holy shit, look at that. That's our first day in the Heshin region of Pokemon Arceus. We're going to rest and do our entry thing tomorrow. Uh, I was going to keep going until we got our start of Pokemon, but I think that may take a little while. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are excited for some Pokemon Arceus. I certainly am. I'm excited to see how this game turns out, good or bad. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow for another episode. Bye-bye.